I come back uh, to this map uh, to make sure to show that it's very difficult uh, to migrate from this Upper Yenisei River entry or Nova Zembra entry with uh, Q concentration uh, to migrate to Beringia because as I mark here this is a permafrost dead zone uh, I, I didn't found that in, in literature, literature but it's easy and I will show you right now that this is of the harshest permafrost of the world this is a deadly uh, trip that makes no sense and you see that uh, even the haplogroup Q that is very resistant falls back in this region it drops out below the level this shows not all of Q this show, shows this particular Q uh, so Arctic and permafrost all over and here Arctic and permafrost all over and also mountainous um, and if humans came out of Africa this is a horrible trip this is from one side of the planet to the other side because this is the Pacific this is half of the planet it's, it's misleading again the map shorter distance here from Africa to uh, South America is less than 3,000 kilometers and uh, so here, this is the Arctic, this is the North Pole, this is the Arctic Circle, this is this dotted line, Arctic Circle. So this is the dot, this is, uh, no, sorry, here. This is the dot uh, of Q that supposedly migrates, comes from Africa. Eh? This, this is still Eurasia, so it's a long way to Africa. But they, they supposedly got here, uh, up and Yenisei River entry, but not for them. That's for me, uh, and Nova Zembla entry, but it's not for them. For them, it's just a place in between Africa and uh, the Americas. So here again, it's 100% uh, travel inside of the Arctic Circle, uh, permafrost. Then uh, we have to suppose that the ice bridge they are talking about was still there when they supposedly migrated. And then they pick up again in the Arctic Circle or just below the Arctic Circle. On the, on the America side is just below it's, it's on the Arctic Circle but it's also permafrost so they have to cross the most deadly zone of this planet and probably the second most deadly zone uh, next to it and then I show you I take advantage this is the Mackenzie River uh, they come from South America and they, they travel the uh, United States they had millions of years to do that and they expand and they use the Mackenzie River they end up here and then there are several routes but this is the route uh, I will prove in other videos and then to the Nova Zembla entry up in Yenisei River and this is only because this is all inside the Arctic Circle this is only 3000 kilometers with sledge dogs and they don't cross the the Arctic, they follow this line, and I will give details about this trip and why I say that later to get here and form the dot. But for consensus, they come out of Africa, they come and gather in the Arctic Circle for no reason uh, and have to cross the most deadly zones of the planet. Okay, next picture. So this is Nova Zembla entry, the blue is the ice, this is uh, in recent times, it's about the turning of the century, and this is summer, so you, you, you see that there's even ice in the summer, even still in the beginning of this century, I suppose it's pretty much the same. Um, then, but what I want to show, this is the Mackenzie River, this is the route that I say they cross, that is 3000 kilometers to the Nova Zembla entry up Yenisei River entry and so they are inside and they are so to speak this is uh, these are two big rivers they go all the way up to um, Altai here to China to Mongolia and Kazakhstan and this is the route that the Amerins used over and over and they spread the queue 
and they formed the ancient cultures here south. The south is this direction, in the south of Eurasia. And they also, the up, this is the up river, she also has a tributary that ends up south of the Ural, and that's the one where they spread in Europe. So anyhow, from this standpoint, they come from South America. They, they have no no dead zones. They have to cross 3,000 kilometers, uh, 30, 40 days with sledge dogs. Uh, then this is the Mackenzie River. So they, they come from South America. And the Mackenzie River is important. And this way, they avoid the permafrost. This, this is not permafrost. So they can avoid it and then make the overturn crossing 3,000 kilometers, 30, 40 days with sledge dogs. Uh, all in the Arctic Circle. Here is the Mackenzie, and here already arriving in up in Yenisei River, Nova Zambla, still all in the Arctic Circle. So this is where supposedly uh, the Africans arrived, gather. If they arrived, I have another question, except for the dead zone they have to cross, and the next dead zone in the Americas that they have to cross. Uh, I wonder if this uh, blood group, this is blood group B, why didn't they move it along? Why is there no, no movement? Blood group B moves to the south. That's my hy hypothesis. Or another one can claim it moves north, but it doesn't move to the east. Then I show this to show that this is the, the way they come from much further. This is Siberia, this is the Arctic part, and this is Beringia where they have to cross. And on this side, in this dead zone, in this permafrost dead zone, the rivers don't help. And generally, this will be shown in other re, re, uh, videos, they follow rivers for migrations. And the, and the rivers don't help apart from being permafrost rivers, that they, they are frozen. That's not the same thing for them, for the migrants. They are in the wrong direction, so they have to cross the topography, and it's it's also mountainous. And here again, it's very mountainous, very mountainous. Except here, where um, well, the Amans cross, and they avoid all this that zone, and they have the help of the rivers. So again, in this region, where the Africans gathered, it's very low in O. It's the lowest of the planet in O, blood group O. So that's very strange, because before they cross Beringia and come back, they have to turn O, and O is recessive. Nothing can turn into O. O can turn into the other blood groups, A, B, A, B. But other blood groups, and here is the lowest frequency of blood group O, cannot turn in O. A Russian map, this is the region where supposedly the Africans gather before they will cross this dead zone, this permafrost, and you see it here, permafrost, the blue, and the more blue, the more permafrost. So you see that they have to cross the worst of the permafrost, of the worst permafrost area of this planet. And even the oceans above, they are frozen all year, all year. So where do they live from? What animals they can hunt here? Why should they do this? They supposedly don't know that the Americans as they are there. It doesn't make a lot of sense. So here again, Mackenzie River avoiding permafrost because the permafrost is all here. That's what supposedly the Africans do. They leave it behind. They come from the plains in the United States. Uh, go to the mouth of the Mackenzie River, cross 3,000 kilometers, and I will explain this in detail why this is the main route. It's 3,000 kilometers, it's 30, 40 days uh, to cross. Uh, but they can hunt differently. This is not permafrost. This is, of course, ice, but uh, they can hunt because you have the uh, warm currents here going underneath, and so this is not permafrost this this side no permafrost this side permafrost and that's what supposedly the Africans will cross and here cross
cross again without the help of rivers. Uh, the rivers are frozen and the rivers are not even in the right direction. So here again, this is what uh, the Mackenzie River following. Uh, so you see a blue dot. So here's a part without continuous permafrost. That's the ones that migrate to Eurasium. And then the uh, Africans mostly come in from continuous uh, dead zone, continuous permafrost, have to cross here and come again in uh, continuous and discontinuous, but this is mountainous. This is very mountainous. Uh, this is just to remember that uh, he is related. He's born in slavery. For consensus, he is an African. Is a descendant of an African, and for me, is a descendant of Amerins, uh, and he carries the oldest DNA. Uh, there's a few cases, but I wanted to show them because this is somebody that uh, lived in the former century, and he carries the oldest DNA. And for uh, consensus, he is an African. He's the origin of Africa. The origin of all humans and for me he is an amaranth and if it comes from africa why they don't find it in africa why they find the adam dna the oldest dna that has the characteristics to be adam of all humans why they find all of them in the americans and not in africa just it was just to i give you a quick clue uh, from the Americas, this is a current, and this is one of the routes. This is a South Atlantic current. If you throw a, a bottle in the ocean uh, somewhere on the East uh, South American coast, but this current will bring it to this place. This is a place where water kind of pools. So even with a raft, especially if someone can navigate, this is the place where you almost automatically end up and so my claim is that consensus claim the origin of humans is amongst others here but i claim they come from south america uh, because this region doesn't have the blood group o that is needed to be the origin of all humans just again this trip is impossible for me i consider it impossible this is that song These are the, this is a trip that I just mentioned that takes from South America to that point in Africa. And this is the trip, this misleads because this is only 3000 kilometers. This is the end of the Mackenzie River and this is arriving in Eurasia and spreading to the Asian cultures. While Africa would need to come out of Africa from wherever they claim is the origin and then uh, do this trip to the dead zone cross Beringia and enter and go all the way down to South America while this trip is only 3000 kilometer this trip from Beringia to the tip is at least 30,000 kilometers 10 times more 